The Philippine National Police visited over 8.8 .8 million homes under its controversial Oplan Tokhang before it was taken out of the war on drugs. According to the latest data from the PNP, the police visited and knocked on a total of 8.8 .8 million households when they led President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs from July 1, 2016 to October 10, 2017. The period spanned the start of the Duterte administration's war on drugs to the PNP's removal from drug operations. The PNP releases the data as the Supreme Court began hearing oral arguments on the consolidated petitions against Upland Double Barrel, the police's operating guidelines on the war on drugs. Comparing the figure with the latest data of the Philippine Statistics Authority, which counted 22.98 million households in August 2015, this means the PNP visited at least a third of all Philippine households when it led the war on drugs. The PNP had the most number of Takhang operations during the alpha phase of the campaign. From November 2016 to February 2017, the Alpha phase was marked by intensified efforts to go after the campaign's high-value targets. The police conducted the least number of Tokhang visits during the quote, reloaded phase of Upland Double Barrel, or the second phase, where they promised to have less bloody operations amid criticism over the mounting drug-related death toll. The reloaded phase lasted from March until the PNP was pulled out of the war on drugs in October 2017. Although this phase was envisioned to be less bloody, the number of deaths in police operations during this time reached 1,274. This was also the time when the police conducted one-time big-time operations in Metro Manila, which counted among its casualties 17-year-old Kian de los Santos, whose killing sparked public outrage. Police insisted the drug suspects were killed because they allegedly fought back, the same defense cops used in killing de los Santos and another teenager, Carl Arnaiz.